Welcome to ESL, uh, English as a Second Language, uh, a Bible study in uh, Philippians. Uh, this is uh, practice for practice English, using your English. And we will also be um, translating to Spanish. So if this is going to be primarily designed for uh, Spanish speakers wanting to learn how to speak English. Esta es un uh, uh, inglés como un idioma segundo y también vamos a usar la Biblia para practicar el español. Entonces voy a tener la lección en inglés, pero yo voy a traducir al español. Ok, grab your Bibles, turn to uh, Philippians chapter 1. We're going to finish chapter 1 today. Abren sus Biblias, Filipenses 1, 25 a 30. Vamos a terminar este capítulo este día. We'll start with the reading. Vamos a comenzar con la lectura. First we'll read in English. We'll read a couple times and then we will translate quickly to Spanish. Okay. Philippians chapter 1 verses 25. We'll do verse 25 first. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with you, with you all, for your progress and joy in the faith. In the faith. <laughs> Again, convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with you all, for your progress and joy in the faith. And then in Espanol, Convencido de esto, sé que permanecerá y continuaré con todos ustedes para contribuir a su jubiloso avance en la fe. Okay, we'll go to verse 26 in English. Uh, verse 26, chapter 1. So that in me you may have ample cause to glory in Christ Jesus because of my coming to you again. Uh, so that in me you may have ample cause to glory in Christ Jesus because of my coming to you again. And in Espanol, verso 26, Así cuando yo vuelva su satisfacción en Cristo Jesús, Abundará por causa de mía. All right, and then in uh, uh, English again, verse 27. Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ. So whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of you, hear that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, Striving side by side for faith of the gospel. One more time, verse 27. Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. En español, verso 27. Pase lo que pase, compórtense de una manera dig digna del Evangelio de Cristo. De este modo, ya sé que vaya a verlos, y que estando ausente, solo tengo noticia de ustedes sabré que siguen firmes en un mismo propósito, Luchando unanimas por la fe del Evangelio. All right, go back to uh, the English. Uh, verse 28. And not be frightened in anything by your opponents. This is a clear sign to their destruction, but of your salvation and that from God. Uh, one more time and not frightened in anything by your opponents. This is a clear sign to them, a clear sign to them of their destruction, 
but of your salvation and that from God. Okay? Uh, the, oh, this is a clear sign to them of their destruction, but your salvation and that from God. Verso 28 in Espanol. Y sin temor alguno a sus adversarios, lo cual es para ellos señal de destrucción. Para ustedes, en cambio, es señal de salvación, y esto proviene de Dios. And then verse 29 in English. For it has been granted to you for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake. One more time in English. For it is, for it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake. And now in Espanol. Porque a ustedes se les ha concedido no solo creer en Cristo, sino también sufrir por él. And then the last verse of the day. Engaged in the same conflict that you saw I had and now hear that I still have. One more time. Engaged in the same conflict that you saw I had and now hear that I still have. En español. Pues sostiene la misma lucha que antes me vieron sostener y que ahora saben que sigo sosteniendo. Okay, we have finished the reading part, and now I'm going to have a few comments on these uh, words. We have read the scriptures, and now let's have just a little bit of discussion about them. Uh, the first point I want to make is use the, the words progress and joy in the faith. And this is very important progress, that we have progress in our faith, that we still don't maintain and be in like babies in Christ. We have progress in our faith, in our action, in our attitude, and our um, being brave enough to preach the gospel and to be a real part of it, that there is progress. And we don't all start out really great, but we need to work at it and keep going. Okay. And then it says, joy in the faith. Our faith is something of joy. Joy is experience in Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Joy, the joy bells of heaven ringing in our hearts. It is the joy of serving the Lord. It's the communion that we have that brings joy. Our joy is not in the things of this world. Our joy is in the presence and the fellowship of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now in Espanol. A su jubiloso avance en la fe. Jubiloso, aquí está hablando uh, de la gozo, de la presencia y el poder de Dios trabajando con nosotros. El gozo no es nuestras circunstancias porque vamos a pasar por tiempos difíciles pero nuestro gozo es la comunión con nuestro Rey, con nuestro Salvador. El gozo es en Él. El gozo es en el cristianismo. El gozo es sirviendo en la comunión con a Jesús por el Espíritu Santo. Ok, ese avance, avance en la fe. Que necesitamos avanzar poquito mejor en nuestro testimonio, en nuestro cristianismo, en nuestra leyendo y estudiando la Santa Biblia y sig sig siguiendo la vida de la santidad, sirviendo a Él, que debemos mantener nuestra asistencia cuando hay, hay lugar de en el templo para adorar a Dios y cuando no hay uh, culto que podremos leer y orar y buscando la presencia de Dios 
y también orando por otra persona. Es un avance, progresando en esta manera. Ok, and then the next point I want to make is manner of life worthy of the gospel of Christ. Manner of life worthy of the gospel of Christ. I believe it's talking about the way we live. Okay, we don't just say that we're saved and so we can continue in sin. It's no to doing this. It's our life, the manner and way we live. We live holy. We're holy through and through. We don't continue in sin as was suggested in the scripture as a question so that our grace may be abound because of the mercy and love of God. No, if there's sin, we quit, we stop, we repent, we ask to be forgiven, we change our lives, we don't accept a substandard way of living. If we are not right, we repent and God will forgive us. He will instill His Holy Spirit in us to help us, to lead us, to guide us, and to clean us up, and to uh, clean us from all sin. This is what God will do. Okay, the manner of uh, manner of life worthy of the gospel of Christ, and we must want to be worthy. We must want to serve Him. We must have the attitude that we're going to serve Him. And if there's anything, anything but walking the way we should it needs to be taken right to the altar it needs to be uh, repented it needs to be cleaned it needs the Holy Spirit to come in to sanctify us holy clean us up if we uh, got any problems or stuff with that we need to get them all straightened up so that we can serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords we need to serve him we are holy people and holiness people and we accept nothing else and if there's something wrong we get it all straightened up through the power of the presence of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and we get it straightened up for uh, Jesus who died on the cross for our sins not that we would continue in sin that we would stop stop and serve him and obey him and don't accept anything less than that than to look in the face of Jesus and say, okay, you're okay, you're all right, you're all right, you have the Spirit, you have the blessing, and we just don't want to just feel good, we want to be good. If we're not good, then we need repentance, we need cleansing, we need holiness, we need the presence, we need the power of God in our hearts and our lives. And now, in Spanish, in el español, Compórtense de una manera digna el Evangelio de Cristo. Es casi la misma que ustedes entendieron el inglés. Voy a entender eso. Compórtense bien. Compórtense como cristianos. Compórtense como personas andando en la luz de Dios. No está llenando en pecado. No está regresando a la vida pecado. Caminoso, está viviendo con la santidad de Dios, viviendo con la presencia y el poder de Dios dentro de nosotros. No aceptamos nada que no está en la voluntad de Dios. Entonces, cuando hay problemas, cuando hay dificultades, necesitamos ir al altar y para pedir el perdón, que el Dios magnífico se puede perdonarnos que podría empezar otra vez por vivir la vida santa con la presencia y el poder de Dios. Creemos en Dios, creemos en el poder de Dios. Él se puede limpiarnos, darnos fuerza, va a cazar un fuego en nuestro corazón que va a guiarnos para seguir a Él por la presencia y el poder de Dios. Si no hay nada de eso, es tiempo de orar y pedir perdón. Don, y empezar de nuevo porque es la vida que debemos vivir no aceptamos menos de eso cuando hay algo malo algo pecaminoso debemos cambiar cambiar la vida y por vivir la vida cristiana es la meta, la meta 
de nosotros. Cuando no hay, es tiempo de oración, tiempo de, de meditar y perdón, a pedir perdón a la cruz por la sangre de Cristo limpio de todo pedado. El Espíritu Santo se puede venir y, y llenarnos y casarnos de ser limpio y cerca de Dios, caminando con Él. Ok, let's go back to English with something. That you are standing firm in one spirit. That you are standing firm in one spirit. Well, the whole church should be firm in one spirit, in the spirit of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We all look different, we've got different attitudes and stuff, but when it comes to God, we're going to be in one spirit. We're going to be part of what, the great big family of God? We're going to stand firm and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. We're not going to be wavering, going to other religions, not going to other things. We're not going to change our religion. We're not going to go according to what's popular of the time. We are going to follow the Bible and keep in the Word and stay in the Word. And we're going to follow Kim, standing firm in one spirit. And that is the Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, and the one spirit of the church of Jesus Christ in one spirit we're going to follow him and we're not going to fuss and fight and argue about a whole bunch of things that really don't mean too much anyway the only thing that really means something is our relationship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords we need to get back on track and stay on track be standing firm in one spirit in the spirit of Christ the Holy Spirit Now in español, sabré, sabré que siguen firmes en un mismo propósito. Ok, siguen firmes. No vamos a mover de la forma de servir a Dios. A firmes, no cambia. No cambia el mismo propósito para nosotros es por la salvación. La salvación que ha dado a nosotros por el regalo de Dios que envió su Hijo el, eh, para nosotros por darnos la vida eterna. Y vamos a mentir firmes, no cambia. Firmes y fuertes sirviendo al Señor el, con el propósito, no solamente uno o dos, pero todos los que reúnen como la iglesia, es la iglesia se va a quedar firme, no va a cambiar otras opiniones, o otras filologías, otras religiones, vamos a seguir el evangelio de Jesucristo que murió en la cruz del Calvario, él había pagado nuestra deuda por los pecados y vamos a servir a Él. Vamos a quedar, mantener una vida firme en esta. And going back to English. Striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. Striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. Striving side by side. Okay, that includes the church of that time in Philippi, and it also includes uh, 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 the Apostle Paul, and it also includes our church of modern time. We strive side by side with our teachers, with our preachers, with the Word of God, and we strive together for the faith of the gospel. Okay. It isn't that important about your political situation. What's important is about your situation with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That's what's important. That's what you're measuring. Not whether you're this, that, or the other. It's whether you are staying firm. You are side by side with the brethren in this church for the gospel. We preach the gospel and we preach the holiness. That's what we do. That's what we're in agreement on. We believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. We believe the The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. We believe that we need to serve Him. We need to obey Him. We need to follow Him side by side. If a brother's having a problem, we need to pray for him. Lift him up. Don't kick him out. 
slap them around, but build them up. Build them up. Try to encourage each other. Striving side by side. We're all in this together. And through this uh, coronavirus and all the stuff that's passing over, we're going to strive side by side, side by side for the faith of the gospel. Not for this organization or that organization. We're going to strive side by side so that we can serve him and follow him and obey him in the way that we ought to be. Now in Espanol. Luchando unanimas por la fe del Evangelio. Luchando unanimas por la fe del Evangelio. Okay, la lucha. Hay una lucha. La lucha entre nosotros y Satanás. Satanás no quiere que vamos a servir a Dios. Él no quiere que vamos a adorar a Dios. Él no quiere que vamos a asistir a la iglesia. Él no quiere que nosotros leer la Biblia o tener la oración. Él quiere destruirnos, pero vamos a a luchar unánimas todos nosotros que van a luchar la misma lucha vamos a servir a él luchando unánimas por la fe del evangelio nuestra fe es en Jesucristo y la salvación que él está dando a nosotros entonces gracias al Señor por todo eso luchando unánimas es la iglesia es el grupo de gente que va a reunir y alabar y orar y eh, buscar la presencia y poder de Dios unánimas por la fe del Evangelio. Este es nuestro mensaje, es el Evangelio. No es otra cosa, no es porque en cualquier circunstancia, pero estamos unánima, unánimas por la fe en el Evangelio. Es el mensaje fuerte que tenemos que dar a todo el mundo porque la salvación no viene en otras personas. Ok, and the next idea is not frighten anything by your opponents. It's the sign of their destruction. No, not being frightened by what other people say or what other people do. They can be in disagreement. They can have their own religion. But we're going to maintain uh, firm. We're going to stay with what we have. And uh, we're, if people say things against us and they say things against our Bible, they say it's not true. They say it wasn't translated from uh, Greek and uh, Hebrew. Yeah, Hebrew, right, and all this stuff, we're, we're, we're going to not be frightened by any of this. We know what the Word of God says. We know it is the Word of God. We're going to serve it. We're going to obey it. And all the people that are making fun of us, all the people that are in disagreement with them, uh, we're not going to be frightened. We're going to stand firm. Now, uh, the Apostle Paul said any problems in those days, he had people against him and causing problems and difficulties, but he held firm even to the cost and the price that he had to pay by going to prison a couple times. Okay, we need we need to be firm. We need to be uh, not frightened by any of these things because we have Jesus to be with us. Not that we're not going to have problems, but we've got Jesus to be with us. In Espanol. Uh, sin temor a sus adversarios es señal de, de destrucción. Sin temor, sin temor. No debemos estar miedo de otras personas, de otras creencias que ella tiene, diferentes organizaciones. Sabemos que debemos servir a Dios, Dios de Jesucristo, de la Santa Biblia. Y no vamos a estar preocupados de él de otras personas, no vamos a tener miedo que vamos a servir a Dios, vamos a estar fuerte en la palabra de Dios, en el mensaje del Evangelio, vamos a servir a Él fielmente, fielmente, todo el tiempo. Yo creo que otras personas, cuando Él está hablando cosas contra nosotros, es un señal de destrucción por ellos. 
pero para nosotros que vamos a tener la victoria final, final victoria que vamos a ganar, vamos a estar en la presencia de Dios, en el rey de los reyes del universo. Nuestra fe es en Dios. No vamos a tener temor, temor, miedo, ni otras cosas, porque vamos a usar la Biblia para nuestro testimonio, nuestro cristianismo. And another thing, but your salvation and that from God. Salvation is a gift and it comes from God. We have salvation. We have salvation. We have made it to salvation. And the salvation that we have, it comes from God. God sent His Son. His Son died on the cross. His Son, God loved us so much. We are now saved and we are following Him and we're obedient to Him. For God is God and He is the only author of salvation. No one else. Salvation is not even found in our own talents, but salvation is a gift of God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. He gave. It's a gift. And we accept it, believe it, and follow it. Our salvation comes from God. Ahorita en el español, salvación y esto proviene de Dios. Nuestra salvación proviene de Dios. Dios ha dado nuestra salvación. Es un regalo. Es un regalo. Si vamos a creer y para seguir, Dios ha dado a nosotros un regalo de salvación. Tenemos esta salvación que va a durar por los siglos y los siglos. Cuando el día que esta vida en, esta, uh, en este mundo se termina, vamos a estar con Él, el, que, el Rey de Reyes. Él, vamos a estar en el cielo con Él, porque la salvación viene de Él. Es un regalo. Esta proviene de Dios. Ok, and the last one. Not only believe in Him, but also suffer for His sake, but engage in the same conflict. Now we know there's going to be problems and difficulties, not only in this life, and problems and flat tires and uh, uh, pandemics and all this other kind of stuff. We know that there's going to be problems. We've read Revelation. We have read other scriptures where Christians have passed through the storms and through the fires and through the difficulties. But we know, we know that... Uh, there's going to be some suffering that goes on. The Apostle Paul had suffering. He was in prison and then he had a very uh, ugly ending to his life. But at, at the end he was with uh, the Lord and uh, a sweet fellowship with him in el cielo. In Espanol, no solo creer en Cristo, sino también sufrir por él, pues sostiene es la misma lucha. Okay, estamos en la, en la lucha, en la lucha, yo creo que no solamente vamos a creer en Dios, creer en Dios porque Él es nuestro Dios y Salvador que envió su Hijo para morir en la cruz de Calvario para nosotros, pero también, sino también sufrir, por pues sostiene la misma lucha. Hay problemas y dificultades. Cuando vamos a decir todo el mundo que hey, solamente por uh, el Padre Celestial es por el Jesucristo. Y hay personas que ellos van a luchar contra eso. Porque la palabra que tenemos en Biblia, nuestra salvación viene de Dios en la manera que podremos estar con Él, por ver con Él, es por el Jesucristo. Jesucristo es la puerta a la salvación. Well, thanks so much for your lesson today. We had uh, some scripture reading. We had some uh, uh, preaching, I guess, a little bit from uh, the Word. Tuvimos una lectura que hemos leído. 
y también tenemos, tuvimos un poco de predicación. Oh, oh, nice, oh,